All right, here we are. We are live on Instagram. Facebook is coming up too. Looks like we're live everywhere. We will uh, give a moment for people to log on. Everybody get there? The Mars on. Hey, how you doing? All right. Let's get started. So, uh, this week we have a double portion in the uh, reading that we read on, on uh, Shabbos. We read two portions, the portions of Matos and the portion of Masse. So, in the portion, uh, discusses a whole bunch of things, but uh, what we'll uh, look at today is the war between the Jewish people in the desert and the Midianites. At the end of the war, the Torah says that they had all returned safely. The officers came to Moses and told him that they hadn't suffered even a single casualty. So they fought the, the, the war, the entire thing was over. Everybody came back safe. The Midrash compares this war to the war we all have within ourselves every day. Um, so as we go through life, there's always obstacles, whether they're physical, emotional, spiritual, Whatever those obstacles are, we have to fight on, we have to press on, and win that war, and do it without even a single casualty. So we continue reading, and finish uh, the portion of Matos and then Masse, which concludes the book of Bamidbar, the uh, fourth book in the Torah, uh, the book of Numbers. And when we finish, we all chant together uh, in Shul, Chazak, Chazak, Venis Chazek. Be strong, be strong, and let us be strengthened. Let us strengthen one another. So with all that's happening around us in the world, individually, as a people, as a nation, as humans, we have to remember, fight the good fight, win without casualty, be strong, be strong, and strengthen one another. I am excited to, uh, to do this tasting today. We have super exclusive bourbon. Today we will be tasting Old Haymarket. Um, this is uh, made by a friend of mine, uh, Matthew, who owns a bourbon bar downtown Louisville. It's, uh, his bar is actually on the Urban Bourbon Trail. Uh, so very special, great bar. If you're uh, in town, check it out. He's back open after COVID with restriction. So uh, be careful when you go, but definitely check it out. Uh, this is from the first barrel. There's a few expressions we'll be coming out with. Um, it's uh, 101 proof. It's a six-year-old. The mash bill on this is 78% corn, 11% rye, and 11% um, molded barley. Um, so again, it's uh, 50 and a half uh, alcohol by volume, 101 proof. Let's give it a little pour. Nice rich color for a six year old, kind of a uh, goldish copper color. Super sweet nose, I'm getting a lot of orange, some berries, a little cinnamon. Wow, very nice, very nice on the nose. Let's give it a little taste. Very sweet, a little oaky. Maybe some uh, light berries. Definitely a very fresh taste. Well, wow, finish is nice. Peppery up front. Kind of fades to an oaky vanilla flavor rather quickly and uh, kind of ends also pretty quickly. Um, delicious, delicious bourbon. Um, the aroma, the nose on it, is one of my favorite parts of it. Great, great nose, the taste is great. Um, one of the only places you can get it is at the bar, so if you're uh, 
If you're around, definitely try to stop by and get some. L'chaim.